Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we'll be looking at the new macro effects in the 2.6 update to Native Instruments Tractor Pro. Macro effects take multiple of the standard effects that you're used to in Tractor Pro and combine them to give you more interesting multi-layered sounds that are all controlled by a single knob. Before you can use the new macro effects, you need to add them to your list of available effects. To do so, open Tractor Pro 2's Preferences and navigate to the Effects tab. Once you're there, select all of the macro effects from the left hand column. When you have them selected, click the Add button to add them to the right hand column. Now that you have added the macro effects to your effects list, you can use them just like the standard effects that you are used to. Let's take a listen to the new macro effects. Now that you have added the macro effects to your list of available effects and have listened to a sample of what they sound like, you can now start using the new macro effects in Tractor Pro 2.6 in your mixes. If you would like to see more videos on Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2, visit youtube.com slash the DJ podcast and let us know what you would like to see in a future video. Thanks for watching.